this is, okay? This is basically Prison Break, the TV show, on the big screen, but with Hollywood actors instead. Think about it. Sylvester Stallone is the righted up version of Michael Schofield. Arnold Schwarzenegger is playing the righted up old version of Lincoln Burroughs. The evil warden is basically evil Stacy Keach. Jenny Jones is basically Bullock, the guard from the first season who died. The uh, Muslim guy that, gosh, you know what? Spoilers ahead. You know the drill. If you've seen my reviews before, you know I spoiled the movie. So spoilers ahead. You've been warned. The Muslim guy is basically tweener because he's playing both sides. Oh. And Sarah Meal, I haven't seen that guy for a long time. I seriously thought he was the older version of Dennis Quaid there for a second. Until I saw his name in the credits, it said Sam Neill. So fuck me, Sam Neill got old. So Sam Neill is playing the male version of Sarah Tancredi. Except he's the pissed off, doesn't give a fuck version of Sarah Tancredi. Until the end, where he looks at his book of ethics and remembers his Hippocratic Oath. And then he's off, we never see him again. What's funny about this movie is 50 Cent playing the uh, nerd tech guy. <laughs> really? 50 Cent playing the nerd? You can put glasses on him and make him speak babble jamble, mumbo jumbo bullshit talk. He's still 50 Cent. I'm not gonna take him seriously as a tech whiz. Maybe if you put Anthony Anderson in that role, I can believe that because he's a comedic guy and he can play a nerd. But 50 Cent, really? The guy who got shot? Nine times? Yes, I did. Nine times. Is playing a geek? I'm not buying it. So I like the prison in this movie. It's in the middle of uh, the ocean near Morocco in a big ass freighter boat where like the prison is underneath a freighter boat. Yes, you heard me say that right. And files and inmates are in there. And yet they're the most dangerous cons in the world. And they're not supposed to get out yet. Arnold Schwarzenegger gets out. He's one of the main leads, so why not? I like the part where Arnold Schwarzenegger just picks up the gun and goes all Terminator on everybody. That was awesome. So basically they escape, like the movie said they would. It's the escape plan. What are you gonna do? Not escape? It's like, going to, it's like going to watch Notorious and not having Biggie Smalls get shot at the end. What's the point? If you're looking to watch a decent action flick with no uh, plot line and just stupidity all around, go watch this. It's decent just to kill two hours. That's my review and I'm sticking to it. Take it easy guys, Humanoid Freak out.